In this video, you'll learn the three biggest mistakes new physics students make. This list is based on my 20 plus years of teaching physics. My goal in this video is to help you identify these mistakes and avoid making them so that you have greater success and enjoyment in learning physics. The first biggest mistake is that students think they can learn physics simply by memorizing formulas. The problem with this approach is that you still need to know what each variable represents, how to use them, and when you can use that formula. In fact, many instructors and the AP physics exam will provide a sheet of equations for the physics test, but students who simply memorize won't know which equations to use. Let's take a look at Newton's second law f equals ma. For example, it looks simple, but there's a lot of detail that new physics students often miss, such as what each letter represents and how to use this equation. In this case, F is not just any force, but the net force. M is not just any mass, but the system mass. The formula is very versatile and can be used for ramp problems, pulley problems, pushing a box across the floor problem, and many other situations. The way to avoid this mistake is to know that memorizing is not enough. You still need to work on understanding the concept. Just because you memorized F equals MA doesn't mean you understand the concept. So how do you work on understanding the concept? In the case of F equals MA, I would suggest working on different types of F equals MA problems. So you don't just do one or two F equals MA problem, you do a variety and see how it applies to different situations. The second biggest mistake I see students make is trying to cram or learn physics in a short amount of time. Imagine a top professional athlete or musician. These are people who didn't reach their high level of success overnight. They practiced day after day, month after month, year after year. There was a strong time commitment to get to the point they are today. Similarly, learning physics takes time. And this is why students who try to cram last minute typically don't do well in understanding physics. So you need to give yourself time. This could be reviewing and working on problems six days a week or five days a week. Whatever schedule you choose, you need to stick to it and be consistent. The third biggest mistake students make is not showing work on their solutions. When students don't show work, it's very easy to be confused about your thought process. Your instructor will also have a hard time helping to stop, spot your error if they can't see your work. When you show your work, you can easily go back and look at which step you made the mistake. Showing your work also shows a higher level of understanding. In physics, we often have multiple representations. For example, when we study motion, we will use math equations, graphs, motion maps, and written description to describe motion. Be able to use all these representations correctly shows that you have a high level of understanding. I'd like to end this video today with three bonus tips to help you ace your physics class. The first is to give an honest attempt at a physics problem before looking at the solution. You should have a problem solving approach that you can use to solve a variety of problems on the same concept. An important part of learning physics is wrestling through the problem and exercising your brain muscles. Even if you don't get the final answer, looking at the solution later will be much more meaningful as you pinpoint your mistake. The second tip is to understand what your instructor will be testing you on. Sometimes students get a low score not because they didn't study, but they studied the raw material. In your physics course, pay attention to the problems that your instructor focuses on and the problems that they assign. If they give you a practice test, work through those problems. The key here is to use your time efficiently and study the right material. My last tip is to find other students that you can talk to about what you're learning in class. This gives you a chance to ask them questions and also for you to practice explaining the concepts and seeing if you really understand the concept. One of the best ways to know if you've learned a concept is to see if you can teach someone else. For more tips on acing your physics class, check out this video. To get a head start on your physics class, check out this playlist.